What is going on YouTube world? I am your brother Reza and this is KRT Life. KRT Life with a Y. So behind me is our new to us 2005 100 series Toyota Land Cruiser. And for the most part, it is extremely clean as you can see, pristine and has no problems. Well, doesn't really have no problems, but it has no major problems. It has a few very, very minute problems. And one of those very, very few minute problems, problems, problems we are going to remediate today. So, what is that problem? If you follow me into the cabin of the vehicle, I will show you exactly what that problem is. All right, so welcome to the business end of our 2500 series Land Cruiser. Okay, so when we got this Land Cruiser, I went through everything and checked things. I checked the little transfer case. I checked uh, pretty much all the uh, systems in this car to make sure everything was hunky-dory and everything worked great. Um, one thing that did not work as intended was the uh, CDL or center diff lock. Now the center diff lock actually works, but it did not light up on the actual dash cluster, which um, at the time I thought, oh, okay, well, that's probably just a bulb. It's probably something really, really simple and um, didn't really think too much of it, right? So then another separate day, my wife came to me one day and she was like, man, the steering is really, really slow on this thing. Like something's going on with this truck and i was like well what in the world can be going on i was like, is the um is the locker engaged and she was like no nah, i don't see anything any lights or anything like that and when i took a look at it sure enough the locker was engaged well how does that happen you might be wondering uh without somebody knowing that it actually happened the locker is conveniently located in an area where your knee can easily hit the switch for the uh center diff lock and it's literally like right there if you just do this number you can pretty much engage the lock here and not know it. And without having the actual lock working, I mean, not the lock, the light working, uh, you can easily engage it and not know that it's engaged until you go and start steering the car. Then you're gonna know real soon that the lock is engaged. So uh, to fix that problem, I ordered this part right here. This is a uh, switch and it's a uh, part number 201-1788 made by Beck and Arnley. Um, it's pretty much just a little switch, a little pressure switch. When one side of it gets uh, pressed, it sends a signal to your car that tells the uh, actual Land Cruiser that the um, center diff lock is engaged, in fact. And it also turns on the, uh, it turns off the vehicle stability control system. And that is very important because the way that this um, four wheel drive system works, four wheel drive system works, on this year model um, 100 series Land Cruiser is that it has something called A-Track on it. And I believe for A-Track to function as it is intended, the VSC needs to be off. Um, that may or may not be right, but I think that's right. If you have any clar clarification on that, please feel free to comment below. But I think that's pretty much, those two systems kind of like need to uh, not cancel each other out for it to work. So one needs to be on, one needs to be off. And it doesn't know that because right now the, the switch that's on there doesn't operate properly. So what do I need to do to install this switch? Well, if you join me below the vehicle, we can uh, start assessing the problem. All right, y'all gonna have to bear with me as we go under the 100 series and uh, find out where this actual sensor is. Cause it's kind of not the easiest thing in the world to locate. So. I'll walk y'all through this. So we are on the passenger side in the United States side of uh, our car, our 100 series, which is the right hand side of the vehicle. Uh, now we're going to go up under it. And you see, I had to remove my watch to get up under here because it is very tight. Okay, so here we are up under here and you'll see that light that I have up there, right? All right, I'm about to flip upside down. Hopefully this doesn't mess up the camera. Ugh. Okay. I'm wiggling back. I don't know if you can see me. I feel like a tunnel rat or something. Okay, boom. So my feet, if you can see that, are facing towards the back of the vehicle. And here is a um, muffler bit right here. I can't think of the name of it right now. And here is the actual transfer case switch that you want to get to. Can you see that? Okay, boom, there it is. This is what we're trying to get at right here to remove, and it is very, very tight. Now, 
I had to take my watch off to get to this thing because I can't, if I put my hand around that way, around the other side of the exhaust, can't get to it. I already disconnected this um, sensor right here. I found this part because I wanted to make sure I found it before I started filming. So here it is. I disconnected this part of the sensor, the uh, connector. Now I just need to get a 27 inch, uh, 27 millimeter wrench on this part right here so I can um, turn it and get it loose and put the new part in. And uh, yeah, hopefully everything will work as it should and my uh, lights will light up. So let me grab that wrench real quick and try to record this. I really want y'all to see how I did this, but um, I use this right here, which is a 27 uh, millimeter uh, box in uh, wrench. And you gotta get it over this part right here. Uh, I do it with one hand and record with the camera, I don't know. Let's see here. All right, so once you get it over that part like that, you wanna get it and you're gonna have to reach in there with both of your hands. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> this is really hard to film. And you're gonna turn this. <laughs> All right, don't laugh at me. I finally got this thing loose, but it's not torqued on really tight. It's just a matter of getting to it because it's in such an awkward place to reach. And it's even more awkward when you're trying to film it and reach it, but yeah. Now I can pull this bit out and uh, replace it. Uh, surprising that this thing actually went bad because this is a part that doesn't see very much use, but there it is right there. So now I'm gonna put the replacement in. All right, here we go. Time to reinstall. Let's see. Ah, there we go. Do, 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 do. And there we go. Thread it on in there. all right and tighten as much as we can so we do as little bit as we have to with the actual wrench that 27 millimeter all right i just tightened this thing up it was fairly difficult i'm not even gonna lie i had to do it by literally only imagination alone because i couldn't like look at it and turn it with both hands it, it was like yeah but you don't have to get this thing too tight but you do have to put a little bit of tightness to it that was a little bit harder than uh yeah <laughs> we will want things to be but it's not the end of the world it's not super hard all right so that's done now it's time to test it out okay moment of truth we're gonna try to uh use the diff lock center diff lock and uh yeah see what it does so i'm gonna go in the neutral and then I'm going to go into, I guess, neutral or low, low on here. And then I'm going to, oh, look at that. You see that? Win. Nice. And we told y'all wrong in the other video. It's 266, not 240. I don't know why we said 240, but it has 266,000 miles. But look at that. Now you'll know that your diff is locked. All right. So we are back home and I'm going to show y'all real quick why. You don't notice that kind of thing on these older 100 series that don't have the uh, sat nav system in it. So, I just noticed this too when I was uh, driving around the corner. If you notice in this car, look how far away my knee is from the uh, CDL switch. Like even if I do this, I can't really hit it without like really going out of my way to mistakenly hit it. And even then, this right here is still in the way so I can't really hit the uh, the center diff lock switch. Now, if you come with me over here, watch this. <sighs> Show y'all why this is such an issue on these other Land Cruisers. If you come over here, this one, look how different it is. Without me even moving, look how close my knee is to that switch. All I gotta do is do like that, and boom, I've hit the switch. So. That's why it's very important that your actual light on your dash actually works. All right, so that was a fun little DIY project and it was a massive success for so many different reasons because now if the uh, center diff lock is active, active yeah. <laughs> so now if the center diff lock is accidentally engaged, we will know because it will show up on the dash and uh, we can disengage it or engage it purposely if we like and it should function properly now because it turns the vehicle stability system off when you engage it. So that is awesome. We got our 2005 uh, 
100 series Land Cruiser, a little bit closer to perfection. There are still a couple little small things here and there that we still gotta dig into and uh, eliminate. And then on the uh, other one, the uh, 1999 100 series, we have a little bit more things that we need to do to that one and we're gonna slowly get to all that stuff. But until the next vlog, this is KRT Live, KRT Live for the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. All I needed to do, I mean, all I needed to do this uh, repair was a 201-1788 part from Beck Arnley and a 27 millimeter wrench. That's it. I'm out. Peace.